if you were on Payne Island right now doing 30 to 60 dollar haircuts, I want to let you know that there's a, a life out there where you could be jacked, booked up, and confident as ever, both with your internal and external results. And if you're selfish enough to not realize that you need, you must become that, I want you to think about not only your life and what that's going to mean for you, but what would that do for your people? You might be fine, but are your people fine? Because it took me two years of my fitness journey for my own mom to join me. That's what it's going to take for your people. They have to see that what you're saying actually works. Joel, why don't they see my vision, bro? I always tell them my vision because you don't even listen to you. So why would they listen to you, bro? If you're overweight, if you're out of shape, if you can't conduct yourself correctly on a daily basis for weeks, months, years on end and prove that you are the man who is worthy and capable of leading, then why would they follow? Here's an example of the worksheet that I can show you guys. An individual who's charging 30 to $60 for a haircut, making 6 k a month, frustrated with how much of my life is being given to the barbershop, content editing without much to show for it, low confidence, and he's not seeing results in the gym, not gaining respect or clarity for himself. Point B, Pleasure Island, where I got to have four hours to myself before the workday began. I was able to go to the gym, I was able to hit my wake time, have full self-mastery process and programming before I had to think about making money. I had all my macro meals, my gym session, and I was dominating social media with every post. It was converting multiple new clients and I was owning my city's hashtags, LA Barber. I was not from LA and within a year of being there, I was dominating the city, one of the most desirable cities in the world as a barber with the biggest on-set productions. And there's a slice of the pie for everybody. And I took a large percentage within a year of being there. And this is what it's like to dominate social media. I was making $1,000 a day off of four simple haircuts. This is the gap. I want you to be very honest. I want you to go to your nearest bathroom, your nearest mirror, wherever you can be alone, look at yourself and diagnose your current and, and future situation. You really look at yourself from a third person perspective, like a video game character. And let's be honest, if you are right now where you always dreamed you would be, it is truly about evolving spiritually. And you do that by putting your own essence into your goals, not by copying and pasting them from your mentor. That's where the true evolution happens is when you don't just say, hey, I want to make a million dollars in a year. No, you say, what's the exact life I would want to create if I'm right now in pain, but I know Pleasure Island is only a couple years away with the correct guidance work ethic and program, what is the exact numbers I would need? Because a lot of times it's the limiting beliefs on a daily basis that will come out of nowhere in the middle of a haircut while we're editing, while we're working. Before you work out all these times when you have low frequency desires, we're going to break through every single one. And I'm going to show you guys step by step how this is possible. Take you out of the dark and into the light in a community of people who are here to support you.